And welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be taming up a Tropiogoth. So I found this amazing one. Legit. That is 40 base points into health, alright? Now if we could get that, that'd be awesome. Means we got a beast of a Tropiogoth. So I got all my stuff here. I just need to get it now put up in my hotbar. So the first things we need to hit it with are... Here, let's actually, we don't need the cryopods yet, so let's get this set up. Okay, so the first thing we hit them with is the ballista turret, where we shoot the chain bola at him. So it appears that it is down here. Um, also, you are going to need exceptional kibble for this, so do keep that. Um... Ain't gonna lie, mistakes were made in the first, uh, first attempt. So, what I have done, did wrong, was I tried using, if I could find him. I tried using an S plus ballista turret. Is that him? And there's a difference in between the S plus ballista turret and the normal ballista turret. The fact that that one's automated. So, uh, this is also a really good spot to get him if I can get him. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get you loaded, loaded, loaded. Where's the ammo? Okay, uh, okay. This is not going to work the way I want it to. Oh, okay. Shoot, 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 shoot. He's not... Do I do it? I don't. I don't do it. That's... That's what I feel like the smart thing is. We can still pick it up and move it. That's the nice part about... I turned on the setting that lets me pick up things and move them. Did that a little bit ago, but... It's not... No joke, it has been so helpful. Okay, um... He's flying away again. Okay. That would be... Well... If I could just hit him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Okay. Next up is this. We need to hit him with these little gates. Make sure you do leave gaps in between the gates. So that way you can access him. And then put all the doors in. We can feed him. I did not want to feed him cooked meat. Auto close only. What am I doing? I need to get this up. Almost forgot. So, remember, you gotta get a ceiling on this as well, because he can fly out. What did you snap to? Also, I don't have a cinema crops today. And he's... There we go. Yeah. I gave him... <laughs> I gave him the wrong stuff. Immediately. Okay, you, we should be able to save this. 100%. So, where's my ballista? It's up here. I messed up and used two of those. Let's get this picked up. And basically, now we just need to find the nice opening here. This one. I could definitely hit him through the, with this one. Mount. F. Boom. Okay. Ah! I also just realized this. I put that on a cliff side. I need Archie. So that way if I fall down this cliff, I don't die. That'd be the worst part. I'm starving now. I took I took my meat off my hotbar and now I'm immediately starving. It always happens. We ain't gonna talk about it. That was really close. I was really, really, really close. So he's losing food really fast. I think we could hit him with another ballista. Boom. There we go. Ah! Okay. Wait, wait until... Damn it. Okay. We've waited a hot minute. It's almost sunrise. Let's see what happens if we hit him now. With the 
This is not what I wanted to happen! No! Archie, come on. Da damn it, I did it too soon. Also, there's a raptor. Archie, you need to get your butt down here. <laughs> okay, I am struggling today. As you guys can tell, I'm not 100%. Wait until it's hungry. Are you just never going to be, like, hungry again? Like, you're losing it. Like, he's down by nearly 400 now, and he doesn't want anything to do with me. I mean, I can see here until it says, wait until he's hungry, I guess. Okay, okay, it finally says it. It finally says it. Oh, I gotta also, like, move that. So, there we go. Now, when I first got here, that was eight hours ago in game, and yeah, it took him 40 minutes before he wanted to eat. Just about. I mean, it's an, was it 12 hours in game is an hour in real life, if I think how I have it set up, or I believe how it goes. So, we're at eight. I don't know. I'll figure this out. I mean, that's ticking. Yeah, I'd say it's about every two seconds a sec or a minute passes. One, one, two. Yeah, it's about two seconds. Can you quit? Like, come on. I just gave you a steak. I just realized something as well. If I bothered to bring a sanguine with me, which I keep on doing when I come over to these other maps, if I don't have Dez. I always forget the sanguine. So, yeah, if I had one, I could pop it right now and he'd be done. She, she'd be done. Sorry, I keep on saying he. Okay, I'm needing water and it's time to check him. Ow. Ow. Hey, go get water and come back. Jeez, my man, I was just checking in on you. It's like your girlfriend. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. I th I thought I just jumped off and he was up in the air. I was wrong. Okay. What are you at now? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready now? Ready now? No? Okay. Okay. It has been another 30 minutes. I've been checking in and out on this guy. Yeah, they're not, they're not hungry again. It's been another 30 minutes. Come on. You take an hour and 25 minutes to tame, or hopefully, I mean, I'm like an hour, at an hour or 10. I'm giving it another 15 minutes before I start throwing a fit. Okay, finally, five minutes later, I almost fell off the cliff again, ain't gonna lie. We now have a tropio goth. Vanilla. What, is, what does that mean? Tropio Ganathus Mzembanus is easily recognized by the keeled crests on its snout. But with wingspans up to 27 feet, you're sure to spot it before then. These large wings are not only ideal for catching air currents over the water and hunting, and actually but they also let Tropio Ganathus draft off other flying creatures by flying behind them. One of the fastest flyer on the isles, when combined with its remarkable stamina, this makes Tropio Ganathus well suited for long distance flight. Because it's on the wing so much, Tropio Ganathus is best snared by those riding another flyer. I've noticed the more clever tribespeople using chain bowlers to capture them while airborne. Once tamed, Tropio Ganathus has proven quite useful to the people of the Isles beyond mere transportation. Its toothed beak can grind down many common goods to their base components which is a great way to recycle items and gear. Well, so long as you have a rag handy to wipe off the spit. That bite is punishing enough to crack armor and grind through it over time. And Tropio Ganathus can blow away flora and fauna alike with a gust from its wings. Air-to-air -air combat is where this creature really shines though. And with the right tools, some survivors have managed to fit them with a saddle-mounted flat cannon and jet engine for maximum lethality. <laughs> Trust me, you haven't lived until you've ridden a jet-powered pterosaur into a dogfight. 
saddle one up and see for yourself. You can be my wingman anytime. Alrighty, so I started scrolling through TikTok, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, why you say vanilla? Did you spawn in vanilla? Or is that why there's like so little of you, you're spawning in vanilla? Oh, I wonder if... <gasps> That's what it is. Okay, I know what I did. I know what I did. It's one of the Carex Better Dinos that I didn't... I didn't unblacklist. Okay. I need... That's why they're not spawning in. Okay. Yeah, that's why we got a vanilla one. But luckily, this vanilla one came out pretty damn good. 56 into... Ah! Health. That's awesome. Now, I just need one with good melee. I don't think we should need to worry about stamina. Or we might. Or we shouldn't need... Uh, we might. Or we could just go all in into melee. Okay, so there is one last thing I want to do here with the Tropio Goth. Because we got time and I did pre-make it because I wanted to do this. Um, but we're going to wait until daytime. Alrighty, now it's day. Now, what I had in mind was I have the saddle here and some gas. So I figured we'd fly on back to the obelisk here on the back of the Tropio Goth. Um, unfortunately, I did not bring any grenades, so we can't test fire it. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> not like there's any reason to. This is like a really, uh, I'd say I'd be using this for stealing wyverns, really. You don't need to have a saddle to ride it, but it's a lot more fun if you have a saddle to ride it. So, let me quickly look up the controls here. Legit, no cap. There are no controls on the wiki for this. I mean, am I in, am I going to be able to do it? Yeah, easily. All right, so that's shift C space shift C. Okay, now we get into the big ones. F. Nope. Control. Oh yeah, there we go. And I'm guessing that's it. What's that on the bottom? Ooh, thruster. Nice. Is there like a cooldown on the thruster? Can I overheat it? I mean, we can dive pretty quick. I mean, it turns pretty nice. Also, like, if you fly over the swamp here in Finjordor, there's a nasty green overlay for some reason. Which isn't bad. I mean, it feels like... Well, what does it feel like? What game is it? The Flood. The... The Coven... Not the Coven. Halo 3 Mission... What, what, what was it called? It's on the Ark. Not... But it's... High Charity. Yeah. High Charity. If you guys ever played that mission. Like, it always had, it had that green skybox just look nasty also we are burning through gas like really quick which i just noticed we're down to five four okay you know what? we'll run the gas out and then we'll do we'll land we gotta do an outro i was trying to take screenshots and now i'm out of gas Oh, I'm almost out of stamina, too. So these guys do use stamina. With the jetpack. Is that another one, or is that a Quetzal? That's a Quetzal. Alright. Well, I guess this is the outro. It's me slowly going to the ground, so that way I don't fall to my death, because I don't have a cinema crops. Um, but anyways, this is going to be it for this episode. And I would expect next week, we are probably going to be fighting the dragon boss. 100%. I'm going to try and do it within the first three days of the week. Because I got the water cave to do. Um, I'm going to take a hold off on the breeding. All I've gotten to... I've gotten up to the... Going in alphabetical order. I've gotten up to dire bears. Next up is dire wolves. But I'm going to finish off the dire bears here. And then I'm going to take a break. Get my cave moza bred up and fully imprinted. And then level it. And then 
I mean, I'm going to take a, like a break here for the next three days. If you don't know, I'm also, this is Thursday, so, or two days, yeah. So I ain't going to record here for Friday and Saturday. See you. Anyways, that's going to be it. Bye.